Tell me about your your Alexander Meets OKC tour because I think it has like really been like a like a whirlwind intensive tour of <laughs> going places and meeting people and Well, it sounds very official. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good yeah. Um, I just I don't know it started that I just can I go there and I want to go to the boat house and then the Ulysses came with us you know uh -huh. and then okay let's well and, and it's, it's kind of developed I want to see more people and want to just mm -hmm. so it's just really fun to do all those things um, that are kind of like high-end also like it's not like this little thing I mean it's like the boat house the, the, the white water rafting is like like international top-notch mm -hmm. it's like you get the best also guides right. like really um, then you have well, then I went to um, the rodeo, the Shawnee rodeo. Uh huh. Yeah, the IFYR. The, the teenage. The thing, international finals youth rodeo. Which was also like top notch. Yeah. Like here, I mean, it's, it's own thing, but it was totally awesome. <laughs> and so it continues, and I have a whole list I want to do with like things that are that are really unique and but cool here. I'm Brandy McDonald, arts and entertainment writer for the Oklahoman and News OK. And I'm here at Elemental Coffee today. I've been talking to Alexander Micklethwaite about the upcoming season. And a lot of your programs I, are pretty, um, they are pretty uh, diverse, but it, it seems like there's a, it's not the, well, like kind of a method to the madness a little bit of it. I mean, it seems like they're they're very thought out and very deliberative, but they're um, things that not I don't know that I would necessarily ever have put together. Right. Like the September 15th show, I, the September 15th concert, I was looking at this and I was like, really? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do the Tan Dunn piece with, with Beethoven? Oh, totally. And that's, well, why do so, you think those two go together? Well, for me, it was like, Beethoven is what? It's the most revolutionary composer there was. And he, he was born before the French Revolution. But he was um, the first really independent artist, like literally, who was not composing for a duke, whatever, right? Berlioz, was the first composer, like literally, major composer, was born after the French Revolution. So they're like yeah. bookends in a way. Okay. And I love this, and I, with Berlioz, I hope we do more, of course, later. But so we have those two crazy, well, French Revolutionary composers, so it's revolutionary. And then it's always a thing, I mean, that you can put tons of stuff in the middle, is a revolutionary, but I want to do something now, contemporary. Now Ten Dun, I did a whole bunch of his already, and for me, he is very revolutionary. And this, well, I guess we'll give it away right in the interview. Yeah. The, the, the the fun of the piece. So, but I know. I mean, I know that the fun of the piece is that it's interactive. Well, it's like so. The, he he he's, he he is. I feel like revolutionary in the sense that he uses the orchestra. But then with many of his works, he literally combines the orchestra with newly invented instruments. Right. So I conducted like a piece called the Water Concerto, which is for newly invented instruments with water, or the Paper Concerto, which is instrument with paper. Which is, I think, I mean, which is unique. Mm -hmm. You kind of think out of the box, you go further. Okay. And with this piece, it is for... Isn't this for your cell phones? Cell phones. <laughs> It's very minimal, but it's still, it's so 21st century, so I try to find something that is like, okay, really 21st century and not too sticky. Right. <laughs> and um, it took me a while, so this was then, okay, suddenly I was like, Tim doing stuff, and then boom, there it was. <laughs> and I thought, oh my god, this is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so you have this weird thing that in, the, in this internet revolution that happened, like maybe as big as the French Revolution 200 years ago, I don't know, like what happened right now in the last 20 years. So everything changes so drastically. So suddenly it starts with the audience. The audience all a part of the piece, which is the last layer in a way. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, you know, the audience is the instrument. It's the newest, the newest instrument. So <laughs> Beethoven 9th Symphony was the first time that used the chorus as a sim in a symphony. So, you know, so, and here it's the first time, it's huge, but with, with this Tendun, it's the first time, kind of, that I know of, that the audience is itself part of it. 